This is Gene Key, KDDD News. Amarillo.com reports Amarillo police were involved in a standoff yesterday that began about 2 p.m., ending around 4.40 p.m. with the man surrendering peacefully to Amarillo police. The Super 8 Motel at 2909 East Interstate 40 was the location of the standoff. A man staying in a second-story room at the motel pointed a weapon at an officer who fired a single shot at the man. The man barricaded himself in his motel room after the shot was fired by the officer who was at ground level. Police closed sections of Quarter Horse Drive and the westbound Interstate 40 Frontage Road. Boy Middle School officials conducted a controlled release of children. The motel is located across the street from the American Quarter Horse Museum and Hall of Fame. An Amarillo house is left with $70,000 in fire damage after a candle was left unattended. The Amarillo Fire Department says the crews were called at 1412 prior, around 8 Monday morning. Firefighters say no one was at home at the time and that they were able to quickly get the fire under control. The fire marshal's office determined the fire was accidentally started by a candle burning in the living room area. NewsChannel10.com reports two men were arrested over the weekend after a botched robbery attempt. Friday night, Amarillo police responded to the Tootin Totem at 421 Tascosa Road. Two men stole a lottery ticket dispenser and fled. Shortly afterward, an employee at another Tootin Totem at 3101 Plains called police to say two men tried to cash in about $50 worth of lottery tickets. 19-year-old John Keith Lusk and 22-year-old Jimmy Dillon East were both arrested for the theft. If you'd like the latest Dumas Panhandle and Texas News on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.